This is AMF University Lanes in Tampa, Florida, home of the 12th World Series of Bowling. Tonight it's the 2021 Chameleon Championship. And here's our lineup. Jacob Butcher of Sean Maldonado, Jason Stoner, and Zach Weidman. Stoner, left lane. That's high. 3 6 10. Yeah, that's why Maldonado moved left. Doesn't cover, chops instead. 6 10 up for Sterner. That hurts. Lavoie won the TOC. Doherty won the World Championship. Who wins tonight here in Tampa? Butchroff wants it to be him. Well, Butchroff's going to advance. All he has to do is get pins in the 10th frame. He's moving on. Only if Sterner strikes out. Can't get the 10 out. Oh, he did. Yeah, he rolled it. Nope. Wow. Any mark from Maldonado. He'll take a strike. Maldonado will advance. Jason Sterner has been knocked out, joined now by Kimberly. So, Jason, you bowled well, but it looked like spares were a premium in this match, and you had to open in the sixth. What happened? Uh, I feel like my spare ball got a little slimy and uh, couldn't get it dry enough and just got a little ahead of myself and, and just missed. Jacob's going to the purple now. Left lane here, guys. Botro. Wow. And goes to the purple because it's stronger, right? It has more down lane motion. Yeah. Throw the ball all over again, and he's already making a show, which is pretty phenomenal. Two. And obviously, he's comfortable. He was getting yeah. himself a manicure in between games. So. <laughs> a little bit of everything. This is a big shot for Zach. Go. Needs it. Wants it. Across the deck. A tap on the 10. But it won't go down. Zach, it's time to get out of that urethane ball and go to reactive, buddy. She leaves a ring 10 on that right lane. We had Deadwood there in the right lane. That was not a charge relay. Everything cleared out. So everyone still has two re-racks. I think he's just got to throw it a little bit slower to get it to pick oh up. Oh, my God. Didn't like that one. But that, now, oh, my God, because yeah. he thought it was way in. It was. And did you see it hit that that pile of oil? He's got the right ball in his hand, which I think he do. It won't overhook off the spot to the right. So he might strike a lot in that title match. It looks like it's going to be Jacob and Maldonado for sure. In fact, it's all but over for Weidman. I wouldn't mind seeing a ball change here, but we'll, we'll see if he's... Great nice shot. cover. He great spare, baby. That really was, Jacob Buttruff. Haven't lost a game in this tournament. Right. He was high the first game, and he was tied for high this game. Right. But now there's the big one. One more game. One more game. Trip on the Pos seven there for Wyman. It lost to Tom Smallwood in the Central Regional Finals of the PBA players. Eventually won by a Kyle Troop. Weidman out. Buttriff, Maldonado into the title match. Well, I mean, the one that, that really stands out is, you know, the, the amount of titles. Um, Sean Maldonado's got tons of regional titles. He was the Southwest Region Player of the Year in 14 and 15. He won four consecutive regional titles, but he wants a national title. And never it never get, leaves his hand. It, he stays with it. All show. Because, but why would why would it be any different? You know what I mean? Except for the fact that Clutch's rev rate is so high that maybe he doesn't have to. But still, that bowling ball right there is chewing up the front part of the lane and pushing all down lane. Now he's closing in, possibly in his first career title. I mean, Randy, that is a Hollywood script. Type story for me. Well, it happened when he was practicing, and they literally had to pick him up off of the floor. <laughs> oh boy. Jacob trying to return to the 2019 edition of Jacob Buttra faces the dreaded 17. Second one he's left tonight. And you heard him say, oh boy, but this isn't a very good break. I could see maybe just the soft seven, but he leaves the 10 with it. Increase his lead to 44 pins. Oh. Whoa. Oh, my Drift goodness. Drift more already. 
what a break that was. That could have been six, and instead it's a strike, and that may have been the biggest break of Sean Maldonado's career right there. Had a Good. smile after the Two. break. Left lane. Keeps it rolling. It's exactly what you have to do to win. Trying to stop the Maldonado train. Well, he better keep striking. Seven wow. pin. Wow. And just a massive ring and seven on this shot right here. This is pretty good. <laughs> All right. The bouncing messenger. Whoa. Way, way off. There goes a 300 game. Forget about that. How about he gets three? Lot to cover here. Seven pins. Maldonado gets it done. That's a huge spare because right now all he does is lose count. I think this is the biggest shot of the title match for Buttruff because he has to give Maldonado something to think about. Some pressure has to be applied. Again, you go back to that third frame when he left the pocket 7-10. Huge shot. Buttruff. Nope. No. And now he doesn't even need that. That's the way you do it. Sean Maldonado is going to win his very first PBA title. And, and how fitting is it to happen here at the World Series of Bowling? Just think, three months ago, this guy couldn't walk. Amazing. Family watching back home in Houston. They got me pretty excited. Finally got me one. Oh, finally got me one. Way to go, Sean Maldonado. Oh, a champion on the one, PBA man. tour. Finally got me one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Dolores, Dominic, Mia, SJ, the Lace, Woo! just born in December. Well, we're celebrating right now in Houston. Because Sean Maldonado, for the first time in his career, is a champion of the PBA tour. What a moment for Sean. Let's go, baby. His back is just fine. Don't you worry. Five top ten finishes. 2019 came so close. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Good ball. Yeah. You're going as always. Thank you, man. Tonight he crosses the finish line here in Tampa, Florida. Sean Maldonado is the champion. You, girl. Love you, Mia. Lord, SJ, Ace, Dad, Mom, I love you all. Thank you. Hammer, Brunswick, thanks for believing me, Vice. I can't believe it, man. I finally got me one. I finally got me one, baby. Here comes Tom Doherty. <laughs> Celebrate with him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was awesome. I couldn't even watch, bro. Dude, that was awesome. Oh, I did it. I finally got it, man. Oh, my God. My legs. I can't feel them. <laughs> Great job, man. Great ball, man. Thank you, man. Sean, I don't think I've ever seen you smile so big as you did back there in that last match. Nine years pro, thousands of matches bold. I'm sure you thought of this moment beforehand how does it measure up man i i've thought about this moment so many times i've viewed myself winning every time i've gotten close a couple times and i, I fell short and uh it, it's just an un unbelievable feeling i was wanting that match to end as fast as possible <laughs> once i had the lead and uh i mean I, I i'm not gonna sit here and lie i was i was start i was starting to get a little nervous i'm just like please just finish just make good shots and finish and uh, keep my legs under me, and uh, uh, I came out with the win. Well, you ha you had the French six, and you got a few lucky breaks in there, but you walked away with this trophy. And I know that we talked earlier, and you said that uh, your wife Dolores, the kids, baby Ace, who was born in December, is at home watching you. What is it you want to say to them? I do this for them now. 
I wake up every morning doing it for them, so. And if they were here with you right now, what would you say to them? I love them. I love them. And I know that when we spoke earlier in our pre-show interviews, literally just a month and a half ago, you were not able to walk. And you said that DJ Archer and Tom Doherty, your friend who was here, who, by the way, was pacing back and forth. I swear <laughs> he was going to burn something over on the side yeah. because he was going back and forth. He came in, gave you this big hug. How much does it mean to you to have friends like that on tour Man, pushing you and inspiring you? I'm super grateful. I, I, it was a down, It was a really, really low time for me when I hurt myself. And they, they literally checked, out, checked on me every day. Uh, Dino, DJ, Tom, Tommy Jones. I mean, I I'm very grateful to have friends like that. Uh, my family, they're, they're always behind me, picking me up, but it's always good to have those little extra people saying, dude, just keep going, keep pushing, just wake up every morning, keep going through your day, and, and that's what I did, and I, I can't appreciate them enough. Uh, I love them all.